All right, so welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Path of Exile, the full hold your hand walkthrough here. So what we went ahead and did, we went back into Act 1 because now that we have this Quicksilver Flask, we're actually going to do the Trial of Ascendancies over here, and uh, that's going to allow us to go into the lab, which is to essentially get our Awakened class, if you will, or Upgraded class specialization, whatever you want to call it. So what we're going to do is go to Act uh, 1 um, again, and then we're gonna go ahead and go to the climb, and then we're gonna go ahead and get to the lower prison. So um, it's all random as far as the map goes. For the sake of the video to make it a little bit uh, faster here, uh, I went ahead and just kind of path it out. So all you have to do is go from the waypoint and look for a area called the lower prison. And we're gonna go ahead and go in there and there's gonna be a trial that we'll have to complete. It's really, really easy. Uh, another thing I did wanna mention that I briefly did do really quick is I went ahead and threw on the remaster uh, footprints effect. This allows you guys to kind of track me a little bit easier. Uh, it's a um, item that I got for free and uh, it allows us to uh, just to kind of have our footprints there. It doesn't give us any benefit other than, sometimes when you're playing with a friend, if they wanna follow you, it does make things quite easier. Totem. So what we're going to go ahead and do is complete this trial over here. So we'll have to find out where it's at first. It's, again, all going to be random, but with the Quicksilver Flask, it lets us complete a lot of these trials much easier. Heck, Blink Arrow makes this very easy, too. But this area is only going to be level 8, so... It should be able to be cleared out quite fast over here. So that's going to be the next area, so we don't want to go ahead and go over there. We're looking for the trial in this area which it'll kind of point out once we kind of see the area. There it is. You'll see it indicated on the mini-map by a little, like, skull-looking thing. And you just have to go ahead and find out where the heck to uh, go towards. So, yeah, the first one that you're going to complete is in here. You don't have to have this, but the reason why I wanted to do it in this order is actually because it makes things much easier for you guys. So what you'll do is you'll click on the Trial of Ascendancy, and this one's really easy. But all you have to do is really watch for these spikes to come out of the ground. Just let them go past, and all you need to do is walk. But with the Quicksilver Flask, it makes things so much easier. I guess with Dash and also the Blink Arrow, it makes things much easier. Now we're going to see the gate opened up, and uh, we're just going to go over here and let the spikes go by. And uh, we'll see the spikes once again. If you get hit by it, don't worry, you just pop a potion. If you die, it's not the end of the world because we're not playing in hardcore. But... When you go into the actual labyrinth where you actually have to complete these, if you die once, that's it. Uh, you have to restart the whole thing, and it is a pain, so uh, practice a little bit, but you can get hit by it. Don't worry. Um, even in the actual uh, more difficult one. And anytime there's anything you can click on, like like these, you feel free to go ahead and listen to it if you guys want to, and then you can pause my video and then resume once uh, you finish that. But now that we've completed this, since the waypoint is actually really close by, we're going to go ahead and just use the waypoint here instead of reloading the game. But alternatively, exit the game, go to character screen. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do this just because this is like actually how I would do, the, do it in 99% of the scenarios. Uh, but again, depending on your computer's loading speed, it might be better to actually just go ahead and do that. Can't see why I'd want to do that here. Okay, so now that we've completed that trial, uh, we also happen to have this quest that we need to do. And I will also go ahead and provide these in the description box below. But these are where all the trials are for, like, the first lab. You have to do all of these, but we've only really been able to do the first one. We'll get to the crypt in a moment, but the reason why I did it in the order of not just going straight towards it and completing it, you can do it. I just wanted to give you guys that ability to get Quicksilver Flask because you get that technically in Act 2. Um, and it just makes things a little bit easier for you guys. Um, next up, we're going to go ahead and return to Act 1 for the Dweller of the Deep. This is an optional quest that will give us a skill point. I actually totally forgot to go ahead and do that earlier on. I should have done it. But what we have to do is uh, we go to the uh, Flooded Depths and we're going to go ahead and look for this boss. So we're going to go ahead and go in the mini-map over here. Flood Depth should be like super early on. It's, uh, where is it? It's, I think it's over here. It's in another area right next to it, if I remember correctly. Oh, since I already had the area. Oh, there's mud flats over there. So we have to look for it. And uh, again, since we're doing this super, super hold your hand, we'll, we'll go ahead and path out through this one. The other one um, is, is random as well, but I just went ahead and saved some time for you guys. But you just go to the climb and then you just look for the lower prisons. Usually it would tell you on the top left, or I'm sorry, the top right, where the quests are, as far as uh, what you need to complete. But sometimes people do things out of order, and later 
in the game, after you complete the game, you can type in slash passives, and it'll tell you which ones uh, you need to actually complete. Oh, my cam is kind of blocking it. Let me go and show you guys what it looks like with that no cam if you type in slash passives. So it'll say this, and then it'll say uh, zero passive points from uh, the quest over here, but we're about to complete one over here. So let's go ahead and resume. So we're coming up to the area, I think, right now. And this, this boss will be super easy. Actually, that's the, the ledge. Okay, so not that one. And if you hit, uh, well, I believe the default key is U as an umbrella. But uh, just checking out my chat finally. Yo, what's up, uh, Genetic Zemo and Jin? You just got to Act 6 today. I gotcha. I'm a little further behind. I've been doing like, you know, thumbnails, tags, you know, general YouTube stuff. And here, here is the flooded depth. So it's going to be submerged passage and then flooded depth. And we're going to get actually get a skill, uh, skill point by doing this. So we're going to be finding a boss, but this one should be really easy. Because uh, you can see on the top right, the monster level. And we are far, far beyond what's required for this boss fight. What was that? Oh, it's a ring. Uh, certain uh, items will have different sounds in this game as well. You're starting on your maps already? Dang, dude, I gotta got catch up, man. But uh, what are you playing this patch, uh, Zemo? I'm doing I shot Tornado currently. Uh, obviously, once we get Tornado. Watch, I have to double check what level we get it on. Doing Bane and Cultus, uh, that's a pretty good build. It just melts everything. I mean, there's a lot of builds that melt everything, honestly. But I wanted to play this since it's new. And also, I do want to try a Wand Barrage build too, but um, I think that'll be a little bit more difficult to uh, get running. I shot, I would say, super friendly, and on top of that, it's very easy. So, um, now that we've uh, defeated the quest, uh, we just go to character selection screen and uh, just go ahead and continue. You don't actually have to turn in your quest at the same time that you complete it. You can just go ahead and go uh, collect your rewards. So well. there we go. We got a passive skill point well. now. All I have to do is right click on it and you'll get another passive point, which will put us one step closer to getting King of the Hill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now that we've completed both of those, there's, I guess, someone else has an exclamation mark. Oh, it's in volley. And uh, go and check out and Hello. see if there's new gems to buy. Uh, as you get higher levels in this game, you will have more of these uh, gems that will be popping up. Um, different areas will have different gems. In Act 3, I believe it is, you can go to this area called the library and you can get like almost every single gem in the game uh, for the most part. And depending on what character you're playing, or I guess I should say class, certain unlocks will unlock uh, earlier or later down the line. But uh, let's go and continue in Act 2 now that we've completed both of those. So our quest over here is to uh, travel to the Chamber of Sins, which uh, is, I believe, up here. Let's see. Uh, okay. So you can click on any of these quests and you'll basically see the path uh, that is uh, created for you. Since we already have the waypoint from Crossroads earlier, we'll go ahead and load in over here and we'll be able to get there a little bit faster. And you'll see over on the, the mini-map, sometimes it will point you in the direction once you get like close enough. I'm so glad we have to have this blink arrow because being able to go over walls is, is so nice. And it's like not having like teleport in uh, Diablo 2. It's like, it's terrible. It just feels bad to play some of the characters until you get like Enigma. Especially when there's like walls you just want to hop over. And I can't wait till we get Tailwind, which is going to be our Deadeye uh, Specialist. And that's going to allow us to uh, have extra like everything um, in terms of movement speed. Like it's like move it's called like action speed basically. And it allows us to do things just so much faster. Oh, you're going to an shard? Oh, you're just farming for currency with that class. Oh, okay, gotcha. I feel like Flicker Strike is also uh, really nice to farm with. So I, I like uh, gearing up with Flicker Strike. I almost want to just do our damage with the, the was it, Shrapnel Ballista? I actually, now that I've been like using it, I do like it a lot. Um, but I don't like the older Ballista. It just feels a little bit clunky. I want to try the uh, newer Ballista as well. 
But like, with this, I can literally cast the totems, walk away. Um, although the problem that I have is it doesn't one-shot things, so if anything drops, I might have to like walk backwards, if that makes sense. And also, as far as like these uh, metamorph things go, you know, let's go ahead and summon one. We haven't done one in a while. I think the mechanic is really cool. It's just going to be a lot more valuable later down the line. And I'm wondering, can we... Okay, let's see if I put this one in if anything else opens up. So I wonder if it, if it scales to the level or what exactly it scales to. Because I know I've collected other ones and just haven't used them. If someone in my chat knows, Tailwind is a 10% buff to action speed. Yeah, uh, and then you can like stack it to make it go higher. But you usually don't get it like super high. I thought you could like stack it to like 100. You might Looks be able like to... I forgot what it exactly says, it. but... Once we get it, we'll, we'll check it out again. Oh, there's a bug mechanic where you transition to a new instance and all of your samples are gone. Oh, thank you for letting me know. So, I, I didn't know that because I felt like a lot of times I would go... Oh, this one it has a little icon of the Chaos Orb. I definitely want to... Okay, we're going to complete these uh this one over here because if i can get extra currency i just need one chaos orb to get color ring so i can show you guys how awesome that that item is and more likely you guys have probably already gotten some uh loot because i felt like i've gotten really unlucky so far at this at, at this point i should probably have um at least one chaos orb uh, or at least an an, or an orb of alchemy see by the time i actually activated those um Wait, what am I missing right now? I gotta double check. So we are missing uh, liver, and that's it. Yeah, we're just missing liver. Okay, so we just need to pick up a liver, and we're good. Oh, let's bring it again. But yeah, but by the time, oh, there's another eye. I wonder if certain monsters drop like certain parts, like, you know, zombies tend to drop like eyes more or whatever the case may be, but I, because one of them has the uh, currency, I, I want that one. I'm gonna skip out on the rest because I don't think they're gonna be useful here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this waypoint because I think we end up returning to this area later down the line. It's always grab to grab. Uh, it's always good to grab the waypoints if you can. If they're not like super far out of the way, uh, just in case you have to return or if you die, you know that's also a thing. But we ain't gonna die here. <laughs> well, hopefully not. And if one of you do, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this. We're gonna get both of these. I'm not sure if I'm actually needing to get this because, like, as far as the totems go, which are uh, the little watchtowers that we summon, the ballistas, uh, this will grant us an extra one, and then we get extra movement speed per summon totem, which would e equivalent to four, and uh, the rest of it is attacks used by totem have extra attack speed, extra attack speed, extra placement speed. Placement speed to me is actually huge, and once we get like Tailwind, I think it'll be very smooth, and I still want to use totems. I will use totems until the end of the game for sure, um, just because the boss mechanic, it's so good. And whenever you see like Einhar or any of these other little guys, well, Einhar specifically, you can just grab him because he'll, he'll attack. Um, I'll show you how much damage he does. Oh, wait, you know what? The whole area, you know what we're, I just mentioned, we shouldn't, okay, we still have this one. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess, or we just picked one up that had currency. So, apparently that, that, uh, the organs aren't supposed to like change, but unlucky, right? And so, uh, over here in the Chamber of Sins level 2, there's another Trial of Ascendancy. Also for these essences, which we'll go ahead and, I guess, now explain what Pack an Essence does after we go ahead and acquire it by killing these guys that are frozen. We're going to get an Essence. What an Essence is, is you upgrade a normal item to one of a rare item with these properties. So if you uh, change a two-handed weapon, which would be like a bow, it's going to add those stats to it, and it's going to convert it to a rare one. What I want to do right now is, because I'm really starved for attack, uh, I'm sorry, um, not attack speed, uh, movement speed, I want to go ahead and try to put this into an item, uh, and for the, oh wait, does it not get boots? Okay, you can't do one in boots, uh, but in all the jewelry, it does certain things. Okay, if I had like another, here, I had this. We'll just do it on this so I can show you, because it, does it say armor? Let's see. Other armor. It reflects. Okay. You know, we'll, we'll save it for a pair of boots because I can do it. I, do I have scour? I'm saying I can scour an item. I'll, I'll show you guys how that thing works later. I just, I, I need a better item. Hello, Phantom. How's it going? It's going good, man. Uh, I mean, unfortunately, the drops so far are kind of like 
not very good. Alright, let me show you guys how much damage Einhard does. So, uh, Einhard attack it. I want to show you that the AI is not completely useless. See, he one shot into it. Um, in, in a lot of games, the AI just does like zero damage, you know? The path to justice. These things are actually kind of cool to, to, to listen to. So, if you want to, by all means, listen to them. So, this is another trial. So, these are basically um, these uh, saw blades, and you just kind of avoid them. But if you have Blink Arrow, I mean, you can just go right past them. And then you'll hit the switch, and it'll do something. It'll Sometimes they actually do nothing, though, to be honest. Uh, you actually don't want to hit them. So with this mechanic, you just want to go uh, to the left or to the right, and then you basically swap to the other side. I don't know if you have to hit. I end up hitting all the switches. And uh, you can't blink arrow past these. Some of the areas you can. It just kind of is dependent. But since we have the Quicksilver Flask, and most of the traps in this game will deal a percentage of damage. Like, it doesn't matter how much HP you have. Like, it'll always do, like, a good amount of damage to you. And so there's the Trial of Ascendancy. Wait, did I... I forgot if I clicked on that on the last one. <laughs> Which is the very first one. Um, okay, hold on. Did it... Does it actually show you with it? As... Uh, Oh, it just says solve all the trials. Okay, I forgot if I clicked on the first one. Uh, the first one, I might have not clicked on it. I totally forgot. But make sure you click on the very end. It'll give you a little like teleport thing. And we're gonna grab this. Um, so like I mentioned, I think it was in maybe part one. Where is it? If there's a blue, green, and a red all linked together, that will uh, be a chromatic orb when you go ahead and sell it to the vendor. But let's do another one of those uh, metamorph mechanics. There's the liver, that's the part that we needed before. Man, there's a lot of organs over here. Lung, alright, liver. Do we have enough to craft this thing? Let's go ahead and craft it. Oh, we're missing the eyes. Okay, so we just need to grab some eyes. I wish on the, 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 the mouse over, if you moused over, it would say like lungs here or something. Maybe it's random, I, I really don't know. See if we can get it off this guy. We've got the hearts, the gauntlets. Let's grab that scroll. Oh, we're okay, we're still missing the ice. That's it. I gotta remember to pop my quicksilver flask. We can go a lot faster. It's just while commentating, it, it's it's not easy sometimes. Commentating, going over all the things we're trying to do at the same time. All right, there we go. We got the eye. That's the last part we needed. And instead of talking to Einhard, because I don't remember if he goes away or not, we're going to go ahead and uh, throw in all the parts. And I want the one that has the currency. I think if you check out, if you mouse over, like this one has the currency, these ones should be really good. And I don't know if that one's giving weapons. I think that one's just... Oh, okay. That, this one's yellow, so... I'm, I'm assuming the yellow will give us better results, but we'll go ahead and find out. Probably stand out outside the AOE there. And don't, don't stand in those. Those will probably explode and do damage. This is kind of cool, though. Bang. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, we got something. We got an orb of alchemy, finally! Oh my gosh. Okay, so now we can finally go ahead and maybe trade for a quill ring. We're gonna go, since we just got the shrine though, I'm gonna go ahead and utilize that. So this one over here with the three arrows, what it does is it increases our life, area effect, and that the size of our character. Uh, I want this though. Oh wait, no, this is, I forgot what it is. It's it's on one of the items in loot filter. I'm pretty sure it's not really useful though. At least not that I remember. Someone wants to tell me what it does. Feel free to go ahead and do so. Hello, Miko. How you doing, man? Not saying, but do you miss the new girl in Critica? Oh, oh, yeah. We played the new, uh, the new character, the Hawk uh, girl, when she came out uh, one or two days ago. She's she's really good. She can get right around the enemies really fast. I think she's really strong for like that. What is it? That's considered back attack in that game. In Path of Exile, I'm not sure if you do more damage. I know a lot of games. There's like back attack, down attacks, and like you can get bonus damage. But honestly, in Path of Exile, 
I have no idea if attacking someone from behind uh, does more damage. We've got some like modified creature human guy over here. It's actually really cool if you like are interested in the lore and Path of Exile. There's a lot of cool things in the game. It's pretty, it's pretty grit. Um, but uh, for the sake of the video, I won't be uh, like listening to any of the stuff. Not not necessarily because of spoilers, but like if someone's following along and they start like hearing some extra like dialogue in the background while I'm playing. Um, it might kind of ruin the commentary here, but yeah, we're just gonna go ahead, go all the way around, and I, th I forgot exactly what you do over here. Or if there is actually even anything. Oh, there's no, there's, there's nothing even here. <laughs> we can't even blink arrow back. Um, so what we're looking for is this chamber sense two. And go ahead and open up this. Okay, uh, okay, we gotta go all the way back to uh, town. And like I said, save yourself the town portal, go ahead and exit, and then load yourself right back in. <laughs> go. And then we have a new gem. Oh, I was talking about the Herald of Agony. So the Herald of Agony is a little pet, it does some poison damage. There's also, um, oh, I guess you guys can't, well, I guess you can read the text, that's the only important part because the gem's like, it doesn't really matter to see it. So you have these different heralds. They'll actually add damage. Uh, I actually, I kind of want to show off the the pet too. Um, oh, I actually, you can get blood rage this early on? Okay, that's really cool. I, I, I will see if we can get it via like the, oops, I want to get the herald of ice since we're going to be going for mostly a cold build. But uh, you can mouse over and see what the things do. But what it comes down to is you have these different heralds and you'll be getting extra damage, but it will reserve your mana. And I'm gonna go ahead and show off that mechanic because I, I really think that mechanic is really cool. So, but since we're doing an ice shot, we're gonna go ahead and try to scale cold a little bit. Um, I might actually scale cold later also uh, versus earlier on. And the reason why is I might still wanna go tornado shot even though it got nerfed, but again, it's ice shot slash tornado shot build at the end of the day. And so, I mean, scaling bow damage is totally fine because it's going to do both anyways. But now that we have a uh, Orb of Alchemy, we can maybe get some uh, extra items here. Hello. Uh, we can actually showcase off the uh, purchasing and trading mechanic in the game, which is something I really wanted to show off, uh, which, well, we didn't, we couldn't afford things uh, previously. I don't even know what this gives us. What does it give us? It gives us next to nothing for uh, trade. Uh, we'll go ahead and wisdom this, see if we get something good. Oh, three to four... Okay, so usually physical damage is going to be better, and we also get uh, life and mana on kill. And there's really nothing else that's valuable on that. And we'll go get that. And our helm doesn't really do anything, except for give us a green gem, which sometimes just having that is actually 100% worth. I'm just going to put that there, since all I care about is this, uh, not pure support. How uh, is it? Herald of Ice. I really want this. I don't have the gem required for it. <laughs> So what we'll do is, oh, actually, since we're swapping into this, that's like actually perfect. And now, since I have this one linked, I can go ahead and get that Shrapnel Ballista and just Pierce work with Shrapnel Ballista. It does indeed, so I'm gonna go ahead now, my Shrapnel Ballista will have Pierce, and then I can also throw that Herald of Ice over here, and now I can still have that as well, all right. Or I can get the, actually, I didn't like that Nova support, so I'm not gonna do that. I don't know, if, does Burning Nova work with? Oh, this is, oh, this is the skill, not a support, okay. So we'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll My go ahead and get rid of this, because I don't need that. Uh, this, I mean, maybe for some bosses we can try to use it and showcase it off. But right now, I just really want some boots with movement speed, because it just feels really good. But I also want a few different items, um, which I'm going to go ahead and go over. So the thing that I really want, which is going to make this feel a lot better, and I want to show you guys the trade system. And don't worry if you don't happen to have this specific currency, uh, or whatever is required. Go to the PoE uh, currency market and check out what is worth what. Because, like, for example, if you want um, this over here or um, whatever you want, you just click on it, and then whatever you have, you click on that as well. So you might actually have the currency required to uh, purchase this. You might have actually gotten it. I got really unlucky. I didn't even get one Chaos Orb. <laughs> so uh, you might have some of these uh, now. So I just want to show off more so the mechanic than really, like, getting the item the item isn't going to be like game breaking or anything like that it will just uh be a little bit nicer to have so uh once again i'm going to go ahead and go to the website i'm going to go ahead and type in quill rain and see if there's one for one or of alchemy and we'll go ahead and grab that so okay i <laughs> dang the price has shot up so fast for this thing it was literally one one chaos max um but there's a few other things that i can try to acquire um 
that I want to show you guys. Like, I want to get an item that's actually, like, kind of usable. Uh, this is also one chaos. A lot of the stuff will be, like, on average one chaos or one orb of alchemy. Eventually, things get to the point where they're super cheap and people, they honestly just use bots to try to sell off a lot of the stuff that's really, like, not worth it. Um, but uh, we can also go for... Let's see if we can get this. Uh, two orb of alchemy. This is just for movement speed, literally. Uh, and then what else can we get? Uh... Dude, at this point, I'll even take a brisk wrap just for some movement speed. All right, we might actually get this just because it has movement speed, and I just really want it uh, really bad. It also gives us attack speed, which definitely makes things a little bit easier. But since they're all like one orb of Alk, we can also make it so they will only appear by going over to the listing one, and then you type in uh, Alk, and then it'll, sh it'll only show people that are selling it as a maximum value of one or of alchemy. So that's what we have for currency. And then we're gonna go ahead and check out if someone is selling it. And now basically we just uh, bump up what we're looking for. So let's try to go for a three link one for one or of alchemy. Maybe we can see one. Okay, sweet, we got we got some. Uh, now, now, I would always go like, as I, I, I would go to four and see if there's any fours. It'll, okay, probably one's gonna happen for that. So let's go ahead and go to three and then we'll go ahead and pick one that has Preferably three greens uh, in it. And you can see this item can roll and have a lot of different stats. I would always just go to like just go to Google and type in like brisk wrap or whatever the item is, right? So if I go to like Google and just like type in brisk wrap, brisk wrap POE or whatever the item is. And a lot of these you can just check out the you can just type in Path of Exile unique uh, armor, right? I just like this one because it's relatively cheap and uh, I just really again want to show you guys the mechanic uh, of trading in the game. So what we're looking at is the item can have it'll always have 10% attack speed and it rolls anywhere from 120 to 180 in evasion rating. And, um, and then we also see the cold resistance can uh, go up and down. Honestly, I don't care about any of these stats, but ideally, yeah, you'd want to get one that is like better. And even though this is like a super minor thing, I just want to show it off. Uh, but I also want to prioritize having three greens. So I'm going to go ahead and go three greens. There's probably only going to be like a, a few here because when you start uh, fine tuning the things, you'll see a lot less things pop up. And uh, I honestly would rather just rather get as highest evasion rating as possible. So I'm gonna click on evasion rating and it's gonna now sort everything by evasion rating. So this one is the best one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click where it says whisper. I'm gonna go ahead and move this off screen so you guys can see it. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. I'm gonna hold control, hit V just like I would paste. And then I'd be able to go and paste this and it's gonna go ahead and send that guy a message. I know my cam is blocking it, but it literally just says, hi, would like to buy your brisk wrap. And then it's, it has the name uh, and what it is priced at. And also one thing that is very important when you're searching for items is make sure you guys have metamorph selected. Default, it automatically will select it but uh, that's the league that we're playing. So we'll hopefully have him hit us back up in a little bit. Don't don't sit there in town and wait forever because sometimes people just AFK. And honestly, okay, well, this guy actually responded. And then what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna right click on his, okay, he's at Highgate. Um, so we can just go to maybe our hideout and he'll teleport towards us or we'll go to his hideout. Um, so if you just click on this little thing over uh, right next to his name, the little blue thing, you'll go to his hideout. And then what you wanna do is go and look for him on the mini map and then just since you're buying from him, it's usually he's going to open up his stash, find the item, and get it ready. So just wait for him. He's going to go ahead and right click on my name and then go to trade. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit accept. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my item, place it in here. You have to mouse over the item. That's how they make it so people can't scam. And then you go ahead and hit accept. And then usually after you finish, you just go ahead and type in like a thank you. And then you go ahead and leave the party. Speaking of party, you can play this game with your friends, which is something I totally forgot to mention. But most of you guys are probably playing by yourself. In fact, like I would say a, a huge part of the community just plays by themselves. Um, I really wish they incorporated a little bit more team play, but for the most part, people don't really play in groups in this game. But to access this, let's go ahead and show that off because it is kind of a cool feature. So what you do is you go ahead and hit S on your keyboard as in snake uh, for default, and it's gonna open up the social panel. You go ahead and go to public parties and you'll see all these people doing like act two, start now, new player looking to level. Um, if you want to host a game, you hit create party, you can say, um, looking for carry on this area if you want to, if you're really stuck on something. A lot of people will actually be quite nice and help you out. This game is, I would say, very friendly, but uh, that's basically the uh, mechanics of the uh, party system. And then there's also a guild system in this game, and with the guild, you do happen to have this guild stash, which, uh, well... 
we have a silver branch over here. Should we just snag this? Uh, since I can just take these things, these are these are like things from my guild. I can just take these things. Um, and if there's anything with movement speed, I really want it. Uh, at this point, what is it? Level 24. What level are we? 21. All right. We'll probably end up taking that. Um, I'm going to take this out, put it over here. And this at this point is kind of useless. Uh, so I kind of I really kind of want to take some, but I also feel like. It's not because I'm worried that they'll care. Like, th this gear is honestly trash. It's more so I really want to show off, like, the, the mechanic of, I guess, just skilled stash. But, yeah, um, you could just take items and... What does this do? 10 to 25? Uh, then it also increases the level of bow gems. We're also getting increased damage. And then 10 mana on kill and 10% attack speed. I think this is overall better. It's Again, this is not going to be huge, but I want to show you guys... I have a jewel, I don't have a jeweler's orb, so I can't show off that mechanic. Uh, but I'm gonna take this for now, and then uh, I'll show you guys a mechanic with it. But I won't use it right now because, well, I could change this to maybe cold. You know what? We might actually use it for that. But I kind of want to change the color. I want to change the amount of sockets because it's only got one socket over here, which is not very good. Also, you can see this thing over here. I mentioned quality before. Uh, never use an armor or scrap on something less trash as this, but I'm just doing it for purposes. This, this currency is not expensive anyways. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click, uh, right click on it, and then we're gonna left click on it, and you'll see the evasion rating, it goes up, and the quality goes up. So the quality will just increase the evasion rating. The other affixes, like increased dex, those won't change if you upgrade the quality of it. Um, but uh, anyways, um, you know what, we'll, We'll go ahead and put this, uh, we'll put it back after we re-roll it. I just want to show you guys the mechanic of re-rolling uh, the item because there's no point of re-rolling this right now. In fact, the damage is like, it's not that big of a deal, um, but I want to show you a mechanic of this. We need a jeweler's orb. Or maybe I can show you guys in the items that we've gotten. This way, it, it, it's more so... Uh, we're going through the process without getting help from something else, if that makes sense. But technically, you, you can get the items as RNG anyways. Uh, so, next up we have to go and complete the Sharp and Cruel. So, the optional ones, um, let's see, it's through Sacred Ground, is that a passive skill? I forgot what that one gives. Okay, I don't think, so. I don't think we need that one. But, next thing what we need to do is, um, that I want to show off is, we're just going to go continue uh, on our quest. And we're going to go ahead and need to acquire, what is it? Uh, the Weaver Chambers. Okay, I remember this quest. Oh, but I also want to mention, since we just got that new um, skill, where is it? Uh, Herald of Ice. What we're going to go ahead and do the, and, uh, and activate, this is going to be our um, ability that reserves mana. So if I hold control, it's going to go ahead and show off another, like, it's a, basically another skill bar. Um, you can have, you can basically have a, a bunch of skills that you activate, but then you just kind of move them to other things. So like, I can put this on this button over here. So, I guess how should I explain it? You don't have to have the skill equipped to actually use it, if that makes sense. So, uh, because this is a passively, uh, passive over here. So I'm just going to activate it, and you'll see that it reserves my mana. But it's going to give us an extra 23 uh, to 235 cold damage. Uh, and it just adds damage and then also damage can't be reflected and adds five to seven damage to attacks But then I can go ahead and click on this and it still reserves mana It's still it's still something that you can see on my character um, You can see if I turn it off over here uh, There's a little like uh, Animation on my hands now, so we're gonna be doing some cold damage now Well, we were already doing cold damage, but just it adds more I'm gonna Do more of these little like mechanic things. I think it's kind of cool, but uh, yeah, we've got to find the Chambers over here. Oh wow, we found it quite easy. Sometimes this thing is like super far, and like it's a, it's usually in like one of the corners. That's like the the best way to kind of path towards it. I don't know if Blink Arrow is that much faster. Anyone in my chat know if uh, Blink Arrow is actually faster to, to move? Unless if we're crossing gaps. Obviously, if we're crossing gaps, we're going to use it. And I actually think instead of Pierce, I could just add some type of elemental damage to my, um... My, 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 uh, what's it? My Ballista. I feel like we would do a lot more damage. We'll go ahead and do that right after. So we're just looking for like a, a big spider boy. 
And these are like, uh, I guess the equivalent would be like a cursed chest in Diablo. And a, uh, a lot of times in the earlier stages of the game, I don't like to really go for the, uh, the, the league mechanic because I feel like it takes too much time. Oh, I forgot some strap boots. Okay, here, here's uh, an item that we can go ahead and try throwing the essence on and see what happens. What happens? Uh, extra movement speed, that's all we wanted. Oh, and you know what? Since this gave us some strength and now we don't have strength, we can't even equip our bow because of the gem requirement. So that's actually I'll good. Need to toughen up for that one. Oh, we're gonna do that. Oh, shoot, I was running two items. Okay, this is good though, okay? So I, I, I had these boots equipped, but something else that I had equipped um, it's also giving me extra uh, stats that I don't have uh, the requirements for. So this one I'm, I don't have the requirements for. Uh, this one requires 19 strength. And I guess I had something else equipped before that was giving me those stats. But now I don't have those. So now I can't even utilize um, this item. So I can't even use the shrapnel ballista right now. But again, I'm actually totally fine with that because I feel like that's a mechanic that I should show you guys. And so, yeah, we're kind of gimped for a while. <laughs> but it happens. It happens indeed. And it's not, it's not the end of the world. You can respect. It's not game over, man. What you talking about? <laughs> flame dash. Can you use flame dash with a bow? Uh. I think we're also down on the blink arrow. Yeah. No, no blink arrow anymore. But one thing I like with Path of Exile, honestly, is it's not super friendly. Like, super friendly to the point where I don't no, it's like, dude, you messed up. You had an item that gave you the correct strength, and since you now can no longer equip that item because of the strength requirement, and the item also gave you strength, well, too bad. That's your fault. And I feel like games these days, they don't offer that. They're always super, like, hold your hand, you know what I mean? And I'm totally fine with games being hard. Oh. Am I actually die, Kappa? No, we, we never die. I told you I was going a little bit more squishy, but it's totally fine. I got this. Even though I made a huge mistake over there. Because now I don't even have gloves. So we can summon total of those three of those. And like, those are doing pretty good. Man, this thing has gotten a lot more difficult. Okay, I, I can feel the scaling of the bosses now. But again, it could be also because we're missing out on our gloves, which is extra damage. Surprised I'm not testing out the new wide stuff. Oh, no, Path of Exile comes first uh, out of like most games right now. This is what I'm interested in playing. I also want to finish off the Darksiders ARPG, but... To me, Path of Exile comes first. And that's gonna grant, uh, it says grant frenzy on death. Do you see those little, like, uh, green orbs? That makes the, the monsters move and attack faster. Alright, we got the spike over here. And what we're really looking for, oh, okay, it's cool. We got a, a new quiver. This one gives us one to four uh, physical damage, and this one also gives us one to four physical damage. But because it's unidentified, we can potentially get something else on um, to this and increase elemental damage with attack skills. Okay, well, that's just gonna be a small little upgrade, so we'll go ahead and throw that on. But I can still keep this white item because I can get an item that changes this item. So it's still worth to keep um, white items sometimes, and I could maybe use the essence on it or something else. But what I'm actually really interested in trying to do right now is trying to get that extra strength so I don't uh, lose out on uh, my item. You can still get strength in this, um, uh, in, in your in your skill tree over here, but I'm not gonna really prioritize it. We already got, um, oops, a good spell. Uh, every time your strength, you can see uh, exactly what items and what things will give you strength. Like I might actually grab this because this will allow us, I really wanna get this as fast as possible, but I wouldn't mind having extra 16% attack damage, 4% attack speed, and it's not bad. It's definitely something that is, is not uh, a useless stat here, but like I said, I'm trying to prioritize grabbing that as soon as possible. And so uh, now that we're done with uh, this quest over here, you can see the uh, travel to the crypt over here. So once again, go to character selection, save yourself a town portal scroll. Big IQ plays. I should try out AI dungeon 
2. I have no idea what that is. Is that another action RPG? Elemental damage with attack support. Okay, so we need... Obviously, we need some... Uh, <laughs> we need... Um, oh, we can probably... We'll get some extra strength here. Um, the next one. So this will work with our ice shot. Extra 35% elemental damage is actually very nice to have. So we'll go ahead and pick that up now. Um, and I'll probably end up modifying the shrapnel ballista very soon. It's just that I really need that extra strength. And we're right there on the level. So it's not that big of a deal. So let me go and actually put this in my stash. And I'm going to go ahead and save this for later. And let's go and check out this bow. See if it's any good. So we've got extra damage. And it adds plus one level uh, socket bow gems. Extra attack speed. You can see the attacks per second. Certain items, even if it gives you faster attack speed, the base weapon speed is so slow that it doesn't really help out. But we're looking at uh, 11 to 30. Uh, was it 11 to 34? Uh, which is obviously higher than this. But this also offers us life on kill and it actually adds one to six uh, elemental damage. And don't always think that you can just add the elemental and physical because things will scale differently uh, depending on other things that you have in your tree or other items that give you plus elemental damage. There's like just so much more. Oh my gosh, notice we're at another 40 minutes. Okay. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and try to wrap up this part uh, very soon. So uh, you can also just go ahead and open up your stat sheet and check out the damage. Like for example, this is 299. But if you see, I'll swap this. We're gonna have 180, but it's because it's on a basic uh, skill because we don't happen to have these links. Which for me, uh, honestly, what is it? Uh, 1.5 attacks. So this still attacks faster. It technically hits a little bit harder, but it's not by so much that I'm really willing to spend my currency into like try to re-roll it, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. And since those rolled with this one on roll attack. Okay, this one rolled with movement speed. I wanna keep that. I really don't care too much about this. This does give me the strength, but I'm gonna have to get strength anyways for this, so whatever. We'll go ahead and just rip that and we'll get some Alk shards, which will um, grant us the orb of alchemy once we get well it's four out of twenty. Wow the memes are there, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that later. So we'll go ahead and throw the blink arrow in there. And then I guess I can throw Siege Ballista here, but I definitely want to, I want to have Herald of Ice actually. Uh, actually, I like to have Dash. Oh, we already have Shrapnel Ballista. Oh, it's the Herald of Ice that we don't have. Okay, I can, I can have Herald of Ice. Just go ahead and move this and put it right there. And then that Pierce Support, uh, we, can, we can modify this in a little bit. Uh, I want to have another, gem to give me extra let's go to uh support so just type in support once again there's point blank which will is which will let you deal a lot more damage um when it's closer and i think this would be really great with the uh siege ballista so you can see there's a little check mark go we're gonna go ahead and grab one of those and then um culling strike is really good for pets what it does is it kills enemies that have 10 percent or lower life when hit um but uh on some builds later on it it's still pretty good though and we have vicious projectiles, faster attack support. So this works with eye shot, um, extra physical damage over time, and extra physical projectile attack damage, and they have less speed. Okay. But uh, let's go ahead and just continue on right now. I want to go back to Act 1, probably get the cold damage one, since I can link all of that. And then I want to link the... Uh, or is it the point blank with the shrapnel? Because it's like a shotgun anyways, you might as well get the max value out of it. At least that's my thoughts on it right now. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go to yes. Odessa and go to purchase items and then once can type in support. I want that added cold damage support. So we're gonna go ahead and get cold damage. And then I kind of want, ooh, I'd, I'd have to have three. Okay, I'll, I'll level this up. Actually, not this one. The the, the the cold. Wait, did it just get pierced? I don't want this. <laughs> That's cool. You can just destroy your items. Uh, but I would recommend just always selling them to them instead. I, mean, I just figured I'd show you that mechanic real, uh, real quick. But we also have... Can we get Herald uh, of Agni? Uh, and that might be not in this act. Also, I forget what level you get Tornado Shot at. Do we get Tornado Shot? Oh, and Lightning Strike. All right, so, what is that? Okay, yeah, point blank with the shrapnel is what we want. Siege Ballista. Oh, okay, we'll have to put these in later. These ones, I don't really care too much about leveling up. It's not like that important, but having the point blank support with the Siege Ballista and then also giving it any other support, maybe faster attacks. Let's give it another one. Hello. 
Oops. Uh, is it not here? Uh, we, can, we can throw on lesser multiple projectiles. Okay, we can also give it some extra cold damage. There we go. And now our shrapnel ballista. Shrapnel ballista, not siege ballista. This is the one we want. This is the one that's I think is not very good. I want, I want to keep dash. Definitely want dash. And then we'll have to level up one more time, which we're right next to. And then we can put in the, the elemental damage. I'm pretty sure that will be better than the fire damage. But I'll double check on that. Here. So, anyways... Onwards with Act uh, 2 as we're continuing on, uh, what is it? The, on the way forward. So we're going to teleport over here. Um, I know my camera's kind of blocking it, but it's, it's literally highlighted in, in yellow. You can't miss it. I, you know what? Because I want to make this video as thorough as possible uh, for the most part. Some of the stuff I, I will kind of condense down, but for the most part, this is basically full tutorial walking through the whole entire game here. So we're going to go ahead and go to the Western Forest. And uh, well, we're at the uh, Western Forest right now. So let's go ahead and continue. And so now with the, the Ballista, it's going to do more damage close up. And now we can actually get the extra strength. And get extra elemental damage. And we can check to see which one's doing more. So we'll go ahead and grab the thing that's giving us extra strength, which is right here. And then bam. Now we can go ahead and use this item. And we can go ahead and have Blink Arrow again. As well as our... What was it? The... Uh, this, that we can activate this again, which is going to give us extra cold damage. So you can see over here on this damage sheet, um, when I go ahead and select my attack, which is, you know, I'm going to have to show this off. This is actually important. So this over here, you can see where it says how much damage we're dealing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and now put, well, I guess I can't put this because it requires too much strength because it's leveled up. As you level up, the requirements for certain things will go up. But I'm going to go ahead and put this in. You'll see, look at how much damage this, this added. This is 35% more damage on elemental. And it, we go from... 399 to 517 damage. Huge DPS buff. So let's go ahead and continue now. And we have a shrine over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. Um, so diamond makes it so every every hit is gonna be a crit. And when you crit with uh, certain elements, like for cold, you'll freeze. For lightning, you'll shock. And then for fire, you'll ignite them. So they all kind of do different things. You'll, you'll see when they freeze, well, they're just gonna be frozen. Oh, we got an orb of scouring. <laughs> That's the part of the uh, the sound effects that I have, which is our, our president's sound effects. And if you guys want to download that, uh, I just recently uploaded a video on it. And then we got the extra cold damage on our uh, turret. Ooh, we got the thematic emblem. And we're going to place it in there. And uh, this will allow us to go back into Act 1 from this certain path. And actually, when you walk towards it, um, I believe someone like locks off the area for like the lore. But this area is only level 10, so it's not going to be very good for drops. But at this point, uh, we're going to go ahead and go back to Lion's Eyes Watch. But we're going to do that by, once again, going to our character selection and doing this. So we're showing you guys all the little tips and tricks uh, for this. And we're going to go ahead and go back. And he's going to give us an extra passive skill point. And then we're going to go ahead and right-click on that. And bam, extra skill point. And we're just one away from King of the Hill, finally. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut it for this part, which is going to be our part three full walkthrough playthrough of Path of Exile in 2019 3.9 Metamorph Conquers of the Atlas. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one very soon. And peace.